Oh, sorry about that. So I'm going to start all over again. We're going to be focusing in on balance today. And I'm inviting you all to think about balance in the broader sense, not just about doing handstands or shoulder stands, but about how balance affects the rest of your life. Energy going out, energy coming in, breath coming in, breath going out. And how uh, your practice of yoga on the mat can be a good way to embody understanding better about balance. So a couple of tips that will make balance a little bit easier. As I was mentioning, the, the floor that I practice on here is carpeted, and I don't prefer that for doing balance work. I like a nice, solid surface. I feel much more secure on that. So if you have the option of a solid surface, you may want to move your practice area there for today. And the other thing is to focus on the breath. When we try to balance, sometimes we hold our breath. And that is just not helpful in doing the practice, to let the breath flow, to find that sense of ease and balance between the effort of the pose and relaxation in the pose when you're balancing. Keep your gaze steady because as your eyes move, your body is going to tend to follow. And the other thing with the breath is, and I'll remind you of this when we're practicing, as you're doing standing work, to think about sending the exhale down into the floor. And that also helps with balance. So let's begin. So finding that comfortable way to sit, but working towards balance, even in a seated pose. Where is it that you can find that perfect balance between engaging the muscles around the spine so that your spine is straight, as well as finding a sense of ease so you can be comfortable? If you need to roll your shoulders a bit, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna circle in the other direction. And then I'm gonna create some tension in my body by drawing my shoulders up towards my ears, creating fists with my hands, tightening the muscles of my belly, pressing my feet into the floor, squeezing my belly, squinting my eyes, and then letting all of that go with an exhale. <sighs> so now you have the option of either closing your eyes or gazing softly at the floor. And as we center, begin to direct your attention to what it feels like for the breath to come in and the breath to go out. So there's a sense of purpose as you draw the breath in and a sense of letting go as you exhale. Noticing any areas in your body that might be carrying around a little extra tension or tightness. Noticing any emotions that are part of your practice this morning. And noticing how busy your thoughts are, if you can invite them to simply rest in the breath. Feeling the chest expand and the belly expand as you breathe in. And feeling the chest sink and the belly move back towards the spine as you breathe out. And letting that be enough just to breathe. Let's just take a few more conscious breaths here.
And to bring our centering to close, we'll join our hands in prayer position in front of our hearts and join our voices in an om. Deep breath. Om. Om. Shanti. Peace. May all beings everywhere know peace. So we're going to warm up with some sun salutations, and I'd like to be able to turn the thermostat up outside, bring winter to a close and spring a little closer. But as we do the sun salutations, remember that that is also a pranayama technique. It's also a breathing technique. So everything we do is connected with an inhale or an out. So just Keep that in mind, beginning with hands in namaste position and prayer position. Let's breathe in and sweep the arms up. Notice how the breath helps the pose. Exhale, reach back, let the breath go. Take the breath in as you lengthen back up into mountain. Exhale, folding forward. Palms to the knees, come up halfway with a long spine. Exhale and fold. Inhaling the arms, sweep up. Exhale, reaches back. Breathing back to mountain and back to your heart. Let's do that twice more. Inhaling, arms sweep up, gather in the breath. Exhale, reach it back. Take the breath in and with intention, let it go as you fold forward. Arms to the knees, breathe in, exhale and fold. Inhaling, gathering in the breath, gathering in energy. Reaching back, exhale. Breathe in, bring it back to your heart. Last time, breath in and out, let it go. Breathe in. Release it as you fold forward. Let that belly squeeze back towards the spine. Palms to the knees, coming up halfway. Exhaling and folding. Inhaling, arms sweep up. Exhale, reach it back. Breathe it back to mountain and come back to the heart where you pause and notice how you feel. So to generate a little more warmth and maybe get rid of all that unnecessary stuck stuff that's hanging around, we're going to do the active exhale. And remember, we do that technique by breathing in deeply and then folding forward as we exhale three times through the mouth. Okay, here we go. Breath in and exhale three times. <sighs> Try to exhale completely. Hold the body empty, release the hold, and breathe in as you sit up. Hold the breath in softly. Release and breathe. Let's do that three more times. And if you find yourself getting lightheaded or uncomfortable in any way, know that you can just let your breath return to normal. Here we go, breathing in, let it go. Hold the body empty. Breathe in as you sit up and hold the breath in. Release and take a breath. So we'll do that twice more. And as you, as you exhale, think about things that you want to release from your life, whether it's physical tension, emotional tension, unnecessary worry, just let it go. Here we go, breathing in, breathe it out. Body stays empty. Sit up and breathe in. Soft holding as you hold the breath in. And breathe. And this will be the last time. Breathing in. With intention, let it go. Head is relaxed. Body stays empty. 
Release the hold, sit up. Hold the breath in gently. Release the hold and breathe. And notice how you feel. So let's go through the six movements of the spine, making sure you're sitting forward in your chair so that there's a space between the back of your chair and your back. And that's to remind your back to stay nice and straight. So let's inhale into dog, chest comes forward, head looks up, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck your chin, roll off your sit bones. Inhale, bring the chest forward. And exhale, let it go. And notice how the movements between the opening of the chest and then the rounding of the spine as we move into cat really helps the breath come in and then go out. A couple more times, breath in. Let it go, exhale. And last time, please, inhale. And exhale. And back to center. So we'll move into our twist and we'll do two versions of the twist because that's fun, twists are fun. We're gonna start with the right arm, stretch it out nice and long. On an exhale, place that palm on your left knee left hand to the side of your chair. So we begin by breathing in and sitting tall and the exhale helps the twist. I'm going to cross my left leg over my right. Feel free to join me if you like. So allow the pose to be dynamic, making little micro adjustments as you breathe. One more breath here. And on the exhale, come back around to the front. So I'm gonna move both my feet over to the left side of my chair. This is the twist where we hold on to the back of the chair. Remind yourself not to hold on up on the top, but lower down. And we wanna place the hands lower down so that the shoulders follow. Here we go. Deep breath in. And exhaling, rotating around, looking over the back of your chair, holding on low down on the chair and working the twist just like you did before. Lengthening on the in-breath, twisting on the exhale. Good, breathing in, let's release and guide ourselves all the way around to the front. So we can do both of those on the second side. Left arm reaches out, stretching it nice and long. Great, exhale, bring that palm to your right knee, right hand to the side of your chair. And always with the twists to keep the chin right in line with the midpoint of your chest, right in line with your breastbone. I'm gonna cross my right leg over the left. Stay connected with each of those breaths. Good, and let's release that now, breathing in, coming around to the front. And now let's bring uh, both of our feet over to the right side of the chair. Again, nice tall spine to begin. Always nice tall spine. Deep breath in and let's reach around, take a hold of the back of the chair. So you're going to feel this twist probably a little bit lower down in your back than the first version. 
just notice which, what you're feeling and where you're feeling it. One more breath, please. And then let the next inhale bring you all the way around to the front. Pausing for just a moment, just a breath to notice how you feel. So let's thread the needle here. Right arm stretches out. Lots of energy, fingertips to shoulders. Exhale, slide that arm along your left leg. Ease yourself in as you feel comfortable. Head is relaxed. And if you like sweeping that left arm out to the side or even all the way overhead. Notice how this pose affects the breath. It's a little bit challenging because you're bent over, but can you still breathe fully? One more breath and then exhale, release. And we'll go to the other side. Left arm stretches out. Exhale, slide it along your right leg. So going at your own pace to a level that works for you, I'm gonna sweep my right arm up and overhead. Remember, this is always an option, not a necessity. Taking in one more breath here and exhale, bring it back. Pause for a breath. So let's bend the right knee and draw it up. You can hold on be behind the thigh or below the knee or even use your yoga tie if that feels good. So make sure you're sitting up tall that you can feel both sit bones firmly grounded on the chair and that your shoulders are relaxed. The shoulders always want to come up, so let's keep them down. Let's circle the ankle. Just drawing big circles with the toes. One way and then the other way. Maybe draw that knee up a little bit higher. Great, so I'm gonna take that knee out to the side. I'm gonna hold on with my right hand and draw the leg out to the side. Extend my left arm, bend it at the elbow and draw the shoulder and the elbow back. Breathe, left foot is firmly on the floor. Sitting up tall, don't lean back. We'll transition to the figure four stretch from here. So bringing the leg back, crossing wherever is comfortable for you. I'm gonna be placing my ankle on top of my thigh Gently pressing down on the knee and tractioning up on the foot. I'm going to lean forward. You don't need to, but if you want a deeper stretch, this is one way to get it. Nice deep breaths in and out. Each time you exhale, see if you can relax into the stretch a little bit more. Great, and let's release that coming up. Placing the foot on the floor and take a breath before we go to the other side. So here we go. Left knee comes up, holding on wherever is comfortable for you. Again, using your tie if, that, if that's helpful. It's always a good idea to have the yoga tie handy. And we'll circle the ankle here. Nice, lazy circles. 
I'm going to draw that knee up a little bit higher, relax my shoulders, breathe. So we'll take that knee out to the side. Now I'm going to hold on with my left hand, draw the knee out to the side, right arm comes up and out, shoulders back, elbows back. So we're trying to open the front of the body here. Checking in with each new movement, how it impacts the breath. Coming into the figure four stretch now. And, and notice that just by sitting up tall, you're apt to feel a lot more sensation in that upper outer part of your left hip. I'm going to press down on my knee and gently guide my foot up and lean into it. Always keeping the head relaxed and the breath relaxed. Letting your shoulder blades broaden across your back. And let's release that now on an inhale, coming up and uncrossing. Take a breath. We'll come to standing now. We'll come up through chair pose. So positioning your feet a little back, heels will come up. Hands at your hips to begin. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. You don't wanna have your feet right alongside one another. You wanna have the little bit of stability with the feet separated. Good, breathe in, exhale, engage your core and stand part way up. Knees are bent, gaze is steady, shoulders are back. Notice what's happening with the breath. Feel free to add the arms if that feels right. One breath at a time. Feel free to come out anytime you need to. I'm gonna hold for one more breath here. Good, lowering the hands standing up straight and let's just jiggle the knees. So um, most of you have been doing this class for a while. So you know that one of the key points about standing poses and balancing poses is to keep that supporting leg. So if you're standing on one foot, you wanna make sure that the leg that's holding you up is soft. So there's a little bit of flexibility in there because your body's going to move when you're balancing, just because you're breathing, just because your heart is beating. So it allows for the body to make those little adjustments to keep you balanced. So let's, let's warm up a little bit for balance. So I'm just gonna inhale and come on up on my toes. I'm standing towards the left side of my chair. Exhale, drop the heels down. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. And try to get that sense of when you exhale and drop your heels down, you're sending that exhale right into the floor. <sighs> See if that doesn't help your balance. Inhale, come up, exhale down. Once more, inhale, lift and exhale lower. Allow your feet to rock from side to side. So this movement is gonna come all the way up the legs, all the way into your hips and your waist, especially if your knees are nice and soft. Good. And then circle on your feet. See if you can feel the whole surface of both feet as you circle. And you can even play a little mind game with yourself when you're doing standing, let's circle in the other direction. Imagining that your feet are like huge. That'll give you a sense of stability. 
great. So shifting your weight to the foot closest to the chair, soften that knee, begin to release your left foot. So we're gonna bring the knee up, holding on wherever is comfortable. I'm gonna hold on below the knee. Notice how when you lift that foot, there's a tendency to lock the knee in the supporting leg. So try not to do that. Standing up straight. And we'll move into tree pose. So the knee comes off to the side, choosing a spot that works for you for the foot. I'm keeping my toes on the floor, but feel free to bring the foot up higher if you like. Arm movements, one hand or both hands. Breathing fully, belly, chest, and shoulders, just like we do during the centering. Gaze is steady. Flatten out the feet. Don't curl your toes. All right, breathe in and exhale, lower your arms. Take a breath. Let's do the other version of the tree pose with the foot on the chair. So my weight is going to come to my left leg and I'm gonna place the right foot up on the chair. Try to draw that knee back to open the front of your body and build your branches with one arm or both. Again, notice what's happening in the sole of the supporting foot. Are you curling your toes, gripping the floor? Flatten the foot out. Send the exhale out through the sole of your foot. Great, inhale, exhale, lower. Take a breath. So we're gonna come into warrior pose and we're gonna step forward into warrior pose. So I'm stepping back slightly because I'm gonna be taking a step forward and I wanna have enough space to do that. The step forward is going to happen with the outside leg, which should be your left leg. So taking in a breath, allow the exhale to send that left foot forward and sink down. Good. Step back for a minute. Let's do this. When you step forward, let that breath go with a ha sound as you place that foot firmly on the floor. Here we go. Breathe in. Exhale, foot comes forward. Ha. Good. Sink down. A little bit of bend in that forward knee. So you can either keep one hand on the chair or you can release your hands out to the side, overhead. Find that three-part breath, flatten both feet. Hips are square. We're going to add a twist to the warrior. So you can place your hand on the chair for stability or you can bring your hand to your waist if you feel secure. From this position, gently rotate to the right. So you're in warrior position, but you're twisting to the right. Good, inhale, come on back. Lower your hands, step your feet together, and then step them apart. We'll get ready for Trikonasana, which is triangle pose. Toes on the right foot turn towards the chair, left foot turns in just a little bit, and your hips are facing forward, just like the headlights on a car. Let's reach up with the left arm and over. 
Flatten those feet down. Send the exhale down through the soles of your feet, releasing the right hand if you do not need it for balance. Quiet, open gaze. Great, putting energy in that left arm, bring yourself up, step your feet together, and let's go to the other side. So beginning with a standing wind reliever pose, we're gonna shift the weight to the leg closest to the chair. Release the opposite leg, making sure you don't lock that supporting knee and flatten the toes. And breathe. Nice, steady breath. Let's choose a position that works for tree pose. So I'm going to place my foot on the floor. The sole of the foot is against the inner ankle of my left foot. One arm or two for your branches. And again, if your shoulders are really tight, you may want to experiment with simply opening your arms in a nice wide V. That gives the shoulders much more room to slide down your back. Good, and let's release and get ready for the other version of tree pose. So weight comes to the outside leg, foot comes up, draw the knee back. You can hold on to the chair with one hand if you would like. You can separate your arms if you would like. Lots of room to experiment with. Focus on the sound of your breath. Great, and let's lower the arms. Release the foot and get ready for warrior. So stepping back just a bit. Remember, we're going to be stepping forward on the outside leg, which should be your right leg. So you're a little bit behind the chair, feet are hip width apart for stability. Imagine where your foot's going to land. When we let that foot land, we're going to let it go with a sound. Do you want to get down? Excuse me, I have to release my dog from the bed. Come here. Come here, you. She gets up on things and then she gets stuck and she can't get down. All right. So ready for warrior? Here we go. Take a breath in, send that foot forward with a ha. Good. Sink down into your hips, create a little bend in the knee. Press back through the heel, open the chest. Add your arms, one or both if you like. Find the breath. Anything is possible, one breath at a time. Good, so I'm gonna lower my arms and we're gonna prepare for the twist here. Remember, you can keep your left hand on the chair or you can bring it to your hip, depending on what you need to feel secure. So I'm gonna reach up with my fingers, take a breath in and rotate to the left. Head is in line with the rest of the spine. Chin is lined up with the breastbone.
Good, breathe in and let's return it back around to the front. Lower your hands, step your feet together and let's prepare for triangle. So a nice comfortable stance. Doesn't matter how far apart your feet are. Could be a leg length, could be a little less, could be a little more. I'm gonna turn my left toes towards the chair, right toes in and square my hips. Reach up with that left arm and arch over. Adjust your gaze so you're comfortable. Hand comes to the inside of the leg and you breathe. Good, let's put a little more energy in that arm so we can come back up. Lower the hand, step the feet together and take a breath. So are you stuck again? Now she's stuck someplace else. All right, I'll put you down. You wanna do yoga with me, don't you? All right, so let's all come to the back of the chair. And we're gonna do our, our half moon series and then a little bit of balance work at the back of the chair. So, beginning with hands in prayer position. Good, let's inhale and sweep the arms up. So I'm gonna come in front of the chair so you can see what I'm doing, but feel free to stay at the back. Take a breath in and then we're gonna arch directly to the right. Let the left hip be free to move to the side. Equal weight on both feet. Flatten those feet out, send the exhale down. Good, inhale up, take a minute to lengthen as you breathe in and then arch to the other side. So we keep both arms nice and long, reaching the fingertips away. Nice steady breath. Inhaling up. We're gonna do a back bend now. So you can either leave your hands in this position or you can bring your hands to your waist or to your lower back. You can still continue to hold on to the back of the chair if you need to. Breathe in. Exhale, bend back. So we're lengthening the spine as we reach back into the back bend. Great, inhale up, and now we're gonna fold forward right at the hip crease, lengthening all the way down. Good, release the hands, give your head a shake, hi Suki. Good, soften your knees. So let's re-engage the arms now. Come up, take a minute to reach up and arch to the left. Inhale up and arch to the right. And inhale up and let's come back to center and breathe. Good. So I'm gonna to come to the back of the chair again. And I'm gonna separate my feet pretty wide. We're gonna do a little, a little balance trick here. So, I'm gonna be shifting the weight to one foot and then lifting the opposite arm. So you can just do the movements with your feet if you need to keep both hands on the chair, but I invite you to be a little brave. So you wanna bend the knees each time you come through center and exhale, reach it out, breathe it in, exhale it out, breathe it in out and in and out and in and then let's hold on this side reach a little further 
take a couple of breaths. Good, come back through center, reach in the other direction, reach a little further, hold. If you wanna be brave, you can even release both arms and back to center. Great, and we'll finish up with a downward facing dog. So either standing at the back of your chair, walking your feet back. I like to come to the seat of my chair and walk my feet back because it gives me a little bit of a deeper stretch. Let the belly be soft. Let the knees be soft. Head is heavy, hanging down. Exhaling very mindfully. One more breath, please. And let's walk the feet back and take a seat. Nicely done, everybody. So now we're all well balanced. So let's just sit for a moment and breathe, focusing on the breath. taking a few moments to check in with the body, with your energy. What do you notice? How are you feeling? Yoga is a journey of self-discovery. Of self-observation without criticism or judgment. Always being kind to yourself. No need to breathe in any particular way to simply let the breath flow. If your thoughts should begin to pull you ahead into the day or you find yourself thinking about something that happened earlier, take that opportunity to go back to your breath. allowing your breath to get a little deeper now and adding those final stretches. Oh, letting out those grunts and groans and sighs. And let's finish our practice by joining our voices in an ohm. Om. Om Shanti, peace. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from fear. And may all beings everywhere know peace. Namaste, Chai Bhagwan.